guys, welcome back. Today, in this video, I want to show you how to be very creative with this library and do stuff that doesn't exist out there in the real world. So, let me play you something. Lovely sound, right? It's warm, it's smooth, and at the same time it can get really like ballsy on a very, very low A. So how is this is done? Well, let me show you. We we'll go to the computer and I created here a patch that I call Junkie XL Monster Brass. And I've loaded up a tuba, a Chumbasi A3, a trombone A12, bass trombones A3, horns A12, and trumpets A6. Now, you would think, but those instruments don't even have that range. That's absolutely true. But that's the beautiful thing in this player. So if we select the trumpets here, and we go to the performance parameter, we see the range down here. And you see how I can make this range shorter or longer? I can go all the way down to like notes that do not even exist, you know, for a trumpet. But you can extend the range down and you can extend the range up. So I've done this for each instrument. So the tuba, I drag down to the low A, the chimbasi, I drag down to the low A, the trombones, I drag down to the low A, same for the bass trombones and same for the horns A12 and for the trumpets. Oh, trumpets, I even went an octave below that. Uh, so let's go back to A. You see how easy that goes? And you can extend them on the top and you can extend them on the bottom. So for people that are writing uh, for a piece of music where no orchestra is going to get recorded, um, you could be very creative with these ranges and play instruments like octaves above the range technically ends. And you can write octaves below where the range technically ends for that instrument. So you can create very interesting tones. So I thought this was a really interesting tone because I am now able to uh, program stuff, like I said, that doesn't exist in the real world. In the other video, I showed you uh, the James Bond chords, and now so I'm playing uh, a tuba, chimbasso, trombone, bass trombones, horns, and trumpets, and now let's play those chords again. It's a very nice, rich, full sound because all these instruments blend together in their unnatural ranges because they do not exist there, but they do give a really interesting tone. And obviously, when you go all balls out on the lower end, so we even have the trumpet playing at the A0 uh, a minus one, uh, minus one, I have to say, A minus one, where a trumpet has no range, but it's playing fortissimo there because we can now extend all these ranges for these different instruments and create really interesting colors that normally an instrument would not have. So this is a very nice feature that this library has, uh, that you can do that and you're able to create, uh, even if you were to record a real brass orchestra, but to have this at the lower end as like a sound design tool. It's really awesome. And um, therefore I really like that. And I, I, it's a feature I wanted to show to you guys because that's the kind of stuff that I will be using a lot to create uh, extra tones. Okay, this was a short video about how you can extend the range for each instrument and just be more creative in how you create patches. Thanks, I'll see you soon.